Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning person, thank you for coming back. If you're a subscriber, I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, just have a look. Thank you for dropping in. And if you want to subscribe, I would surely agree, appreciate it. I, I love every single one of my subscribers and I do appreciate it. So today uh, we're going to colour it in Fairy Touch of Magic. Now I know we were colouring in Alice in Wonderland, but somebody asked me to colour with pencils. So I've got my Polly's, I've got my Prisoners, I've got Fairy Touch of Magic, and I have picked, I right, can find it, one of the Christmassy pictures, right at the back, I think it's the last but one, of this lovely girl with the, the star, I'm going to use whatever I fancy, I'm going to use glitter gel pens, I'm going to use ah all sorts, I just got to adjust it so you can see what I'm going to be colouring today, that's perfect, I'm going to start with her face, because that's what I normally do, and it's all not like that, there we go, so like I said thank you for coming back, if you are already a subscriber, I've got myself a Diet Coke, I'm going to need it, a bit of time before I have to go pick up Jen. So I thought we'd do this one. I think this is so gorgeous. I was looking through, I thought I really want a colour in Carla McCova books. Now, as you know, these are very, very expensive books. They're worth every penny, don't get me wrong. And I've only coloured one picture in each one that I've got, and I've only got three. Because there's something like to get them here, they're around £35 including the shipping, or they were, they've probably gone up now. I'll need to check with Tony. Um, but I can only afford them when I get a bonus or if I get money for Christmas or birthday. So uh, there are three now, because she's brought out a new one that I haven't got, that I do need to get. But I will probably get at least one or two of them next year. But the money I will be getting for Christmas has been allocated to a new Marilyn book that I need for doing my TikToks, so. I thought I would like just colour in one of these because they're such beautiful pictures. I don't colour them enough. Like I said, I have done one of each. I was flipping through them just looking for something to colour and I just wanted to colour everything. They are beautiful. So. She's wearing gloves. She's wearing shoes. It's only her little face that we need to skin colour. Um, right. She is gorgeous, this little girl. I think she's so pretty. I have now sorted out all my Prisma colours. They're all mixed up all over the place in the in the pencil case. There are gaps everywhere. They're all here, but there are gaps everywhere where they, I'd moved them and put them somewhere else. They're all back in the right order now because I've got the new. I've got another set of 150. So I just thought I'd do a new set of swatches for my swatch folder and I've done that and it's looking good now I've managed to put them all back into the order they are when they arrive in the box so that's really good and I'm very pleased with that because they look better I've placed one so far there's a couple that are very close to needing replacing I believe it was Tuscan Red I replaced because I, I used that one a lot last in a particular book a long time ago and now I probably wouldn't use it as much but it is a lovely lovely red so I thought this is quite Christmassy quite wintry and I thought it would be nice just to to colour this one so oops I've just dropped that off hey um Actually, kind of singing a bit of Christmas songs today. I'm in a Christmassy mood. Yesterday, Jennifer and I wrapped up a lot of presents, which was really good fun. Well, not a lot of presents because we're not going mad this year for me and Paul. Jennifer's got lots, and me and Paul will start doing them soon. I'll probably start wrapping them up uh, before she finishes school every day. Not today, because obviously I'm I'm here talking to you.
but I thought yes this is such a nice picture I'm just gonna give this a bit of a blend in now I think so what's been happening well I have been very busy so like I said because somebody asked me to colour in pencils I thought I won't do Alice I'll leave Alice I want to only do Christmas pictures right up to Christmas day and including Christmas day so I thought what I'll do now is I will get um, this book out, get my pencils out and give it a good, you know, colour something Christmassy in pencils. Now I might go back to Alice as one of my whips when I do a whip video. I might do it off camera. I haven't decided, let me know. Would you, do you want me to finish it on camera or do you want me to do it um, as a colour and chat or part of my uh, work in the whips or whipping the whips? Let me know and I'll happily do that, but it's nice to be colouring something Christmassy with you. So, I'm going to just do this. But yes, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get at least one more of Carla's books, Clara's books next month. There are so many books though, aren't there? And we want them all, don't we? Let's be honest. We do. We'd love to have every single book we could get, wouldn't we? I know I would. I'd love to have all the books. I wish I had the space for all the books. I just don't, A, have all the space and B, don't have the money, sadly. So the cat might get in the way at some point because she's uh, mooching around the window. So aren't you? As you can see, I've got my Christmas tablecloth on. Uh, I have plastic tablecloths just simply because of the um, paint and pen that I can just rub it off, you know. But Jennifer does like a bit of make a mess sometimes. So the old tablecloth that was on here a while back will be going soon. And there, see, I told you you'd get a cat head. They get everywhere, these cats, don't they? Third off, thank you. a little bit extra red there because it? it's cold she's out in the snow you can see the snow down here so, let's go to the back we'll just blend that in a bit with the white okay oh, i like that that looks nice a little little peachy peachy thing and uh Looks like it's night time, we got stars in the sky, so we will pick a dark, very dark blue to do the background with. I'm, I'll probably do the sky off off camera. Now, I do want to do a thing in red, but these reds are very, very... Now that's too dark, so I'm having a look now for that. That one needs replacing, and that one does this one. What's this one? Oh, that, that's a nice colour. <laughs> And now my battery's gonna run out, so I'm gonna have to go upstairs again to get a battery. I'll be right back. Okay, that's a new battery. The cat was on the table. She's now got off and gone for a wonder. And I've got a good half an hour before I have to go and get Jen, or get ready to get Jen. So, do a hat red. I think that needs a bit more of a sharpen. So how are you all? I hope everybody is well and ready for the festive period. Whether you uh, celebrate Christmas or one of the other holidays, Yule, Hanukkah, etc. I am looking forward to it. I, I don't have a huge amount of time off just simply because we're a very small team that I'm on. But I do have some time off over Christmas, obviously Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and then two days the week after Christmas. And then um, we've had some very busy weeks and this week is also going to be very busy because um, the weekend especially. On Friday morning, Jennifer has got her school concert. I'm so excited. She's got to dress up as an angel. So her costume's here. I've got to get her to put it on and try it. Cause it's probably going to be a bit long, so I'll need to adjust it slightly, which won't take me five minutes. And um, so there's that on Friday morning. Uh, Friday afternoon, we're planning on, before she gets home from school, uh, wrapping up her presents. So they're all done. 
Um, we are then in the evening going to a party at the local pub, the Prince of Wales. They're having a kids party, kids Christmas party for two hours. And um, so basically they'll have dancing, a buffet, games, and then at six o'clock Santa's going to come. She doesn't have to stay for the entire two hours if she doesn't want to. But we will definitely be going up there. It's going to be such a lovely day, Friday. Very Christmassy. And then, of course, uh, we're on to the home stretch with Christmas. One week to go after this week. So on Saturday, I've got to go and pick up my new glasses from the Opticians, which is in Newport. And uh, that's at quarter to ten and then at eleven o'clock. So plenty of time. Uh, meeting my work colleagues for a Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning sort of brunch thing and we're going to go to this coffee shop place in Newport and it's gonna be very nice and after that I should be having a going home and uh, recovering on the sofa because that'll be a lot of people and I don't do a lot of people you know me uh, what else is happening the following week obviously is Christmas week work as normal but we don't have to go into the office from the, from so our last day in the office this year is Thursday so that's fine that'll be nice um had a present from work already which is from our line managers uh because she's not in on Thursday she's got the day off so that's good I mean she's such a lovely lady as well it's really nice wasn't expecting anything at all so to get something is really really nice so yeah that, that was nice we're doing our secret santa gift exchange so that'll be good on mine i mostly put coloring books and supplies because <laughs> i know you can get cheap stuff because we only do a tenner so a couple of really cheap coloring books and some cheap pens or pencils i can't remember now and um yeah, so hopefully I'll get some uh, some colouring stuff. I did put some books on there, but I can't remember what they were. I tried to make sure I didn't put anything that was on my wish list on there because I know my brother buys from my wish list. I, and I don't buy anything from my wish list uh, in December. In January, if I've got any spare money at the end of the month, I will. But that's how it's going to have to be from now on. I have to make sure that I've uh, paid all my bills and put money aside because we are hoping to go on holiday uh next year to Tenerife we were going to go to Butlins in the UK but going on holidays is so expensive Jennifer's in reception so we should be able to take her out of school for a bit for a week shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as I can keep her in school she was off last week sick that's why nothing happened there was no current chat there was no uh whatchamacallit what's it called what do I call it weekly vlog um, but she's back now. She's fine now. I'm sorry, I'm doing... <sighs> I'm not sure what colour to do a dress. I think I'll do a coat red and then her dress can be blue with orange and yellow flowers or pink and yellow flowers or whatever this thing is down here. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah. So I'll do a coat red. And then I'll do her skirt a nice blue. Where'd that other red pencil go? Is there? I mean, see, I'm losing them already. This is what happens. So we're going to do this coat red, um, and then this bit red, and then uh, yeah. Some of this will be uh, white or cream. So I know everybody's been watching Wednesday on Netflix, but I've got to be honest, I cancelled Netflix after the travesty that was blonde. Um, because I can't afford it and I don't need it. I don't watch any TV. I've got hundreds of movies that I've not watched. either recorded to my hard drive on one of my apps that I do have that's a free app called Old Movies on YouTube or on DVD because I like to collect DVDs still that I haven't watched. So why am I going to go and pay for a streaming app I'm not watching? You know, it's not worth it. So, yeah. I do have Brickbox, which is 5 99 a month. I don't mind paying that because, although I don't watch it very often, 
there's more stuff on there that I'm likely to watch. Um, for instance, the complete classic series of Doctor Who. I am working my way through them very slowly, very slowly. Because I love Doctor Who. So why wouldn't I, you know? So this is going to take us a very long time to do. We've already done 14 minutes and I've hardly touched the page. But this is what was wanted, this is what was requested, so this is what you get. <laughs> Not that I mind, I love it. I love talking to you. You're a great bunch of people and I love watching your videos if you make them. And if you don't, that's fine. I totally get not everybody has either the means, the patience, or the, the, the want to make videos. And that's, that's perfectly acceptable. I don't blame you for not doing it. I like doing it. I like making videos, whether it's a flip through, although there's not many of those at the moment because I've still got some to post. Um, or Karen Chats. I love the completed videos. I will be filming fairly shortly a, uh, a channel uh, plans for the new year. Um, there'll be two of those, one for reading and what I'm planning on my reading goals and one for colouring, colouring goals, colouring journal. I'll be showing you all that good stuff. Hopefully I might film that Thursday because I think Paul's in the office again on Thursday, I think. So I'm pretty sure he said he was. I don't know how he's going to get there. I don't think the trains are running. Or if they are, they're very reduced service. But I think he's already looked that up, so. And then Christmas Eve is my dad's birthday. So we don't really do anything Christmas Eve for Jennifer. It's all about my dad. And then obviously Christmas Day. Yay! So we've got all the food. Paul's mum is coming for the day. which Well, for, for lunch. She won't stay all day because she's got a dog and obviously with... Z, she can't bring the dog over. So she will come over for lunch and stay for a few hours. And then she'll go home. And then at some point in the afternoon, we, me, Paul and Jennifer will go over to my mum and dad's. If it's nice, we usually walk over. And then and back. And But if it's not, we'll just drive. I don't like to drive on Christmas Day too early because the street fills up with people having visitors, which is understandable, and I don't want to have to struggle to find somewhere to park when at, at night in the dark, where I might have to walk a few streets or something. I, I just don't want to. So, yeah, it's just a pain, really. It's such a pretty picture. These books are absolutely stunning. If you can afford them and you haven't got them, I do recommend them. They can be a bit intimidating. Some of the pictures are quite detailed. Um, there's doubles page spread that's really quite busy, but they are absolutely adorable and they are so cute. I've used watercolours in them and the Black Widows go lovely in them. I'm not too happy with the Prisma colours, I must admit. It might be me, but once I've done this bit, I might try the polys and, and see how they go. And, uh, you know. But the, the Black Widows go on here, because I know I've used Black Widows in one of the books. It might have even been this one, I can't remember. I have done one in here somewhere. Yeah, I think that was Black Widows. It might not be. I don't know. <laughs> but I did enjoy doing the picture, so. I haven't coloured much this month yet. Um, I've done a few Christmas colour by numbers. Put all the other colour by numbers away because I don't want to do anything that's not Christmassy until Boxing Day. And then I can do wintry, finish off any Christmases, Christmas ones, and. then I can do whatever I want. But I'm gonna try not to do non-Christmas colour by numbers. I don't mind doing Christmas colour by numbers afterwards because they're quite good. And obviously I want to finish off any Christmas whips. If I can, there we go. Let's 
this is sharp and I do like a sharp point but like I said I'll, I'll do the next bit with the um, hollies and see how they go I can't remember what I used and which ones I got there so just keeping an eye on the time because it's uh, getting on and I do need to go and get a Jennifer I, I did say that um, once I've picked her up, if she's watching TV, I can come in here and just carry on with the video. As like I said, we haven't done that much yet. We've only done mm, 20 minutes nearly. We haven't had a good long chat for a while. So yeah, Jennifer was ill. She had some sort of uh, cough bug or sickness bug. She was coughing so much she made herself sick at one point. It was horrible. It's just cold. She's much better now. It's not strep or anything like that. I did keep an eye on her. <coughs> I mean, I know it's going around and everything, but I'll keep a very, very close eye on her when she's ill. She's my, she's a good girl. She is a very good girl sometimes. And other times she can be a monster. She is a child. But she's so excited for Christmas. She is so excited. It, it's so nice. It brings back how excited I was when I was her age or a bit older for Christmas. You lose that as you become an adult. You still might love Christmas, but that excitement, that heart racing excitement goes, does go away. And having her does bring it back just that little bit. And it's absolutely wonderful to see her little face light up when she sees uh, Christmas stuff. We were in town last week, was it last, no, the week before last, and there was this pe these people walking around dressed up. There was last week as well, was it? no, it was the same week. And they were dressed up, one was dressed up as an elf and one was dressed up as a Christmas pudding. And it was so funny, but Jennifer had this toy in her hand and the Christmas pudding was pretending to try and take it away from her. And she got so upset, she started crying, poor kid. It, 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 it's funny, but it wasn't funny. She still said, the pudding tried to steal my my toy. And I'm like, the Christmas pudding wasn't really going to steal your toy. He was just playing with you. But it was so cute um, to see it. And then there were a couple of um, elves driving around on um, sort of those uh, mobility scooters with elvis wigs on. And on the back it did say elvish, because I actually said to him, well, I don't know, you look a bit elvish to me, which is obviously a Terry Pratchett thing from soul music. When uh, the character's name is Bud of the Holly in P. Selwyn. Um, and they keep saying, I don't know about that, he looks a little bit elvish to me, a little bit elvish to me. Um, and they actually had elvish on the back of their thing. It was absolutely fab. It was so nice to see, and it was so much fun. Last week I went in to town on my own to uh, have my eyes done and then I took Paul. <coughs> it's my turn to have a cough now. Up to Pont and Frith Leisure Centre for his Covid jab. We were supposed to go to Nash but we cancelled Nash. He said oh I can choose where to go and I said well what are your options and he said Nash blah 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 or Pont and Frith. I went go Pont and Frith because I actually know where that is so it makes sense to go there because that's where I used to go to school. So I was able to show them the school and I was saying, oh, this is A block, this was A block was this, 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 B block was this, this, and this. I said, you can't, I don't know how you remember all that. I just do. That block was this block and it was blah, blah, blah. This was where we did home ec. That was, and around the corner was the wood shop where we did uh, woodworking and, and stuff like that. Because we all had to do a bit of that. And it was just, it was just funny. Excuse me, sniffling. I do apologise. I can't help it. It's cold here. I don't know what it is where you are because I know it's cold all over the place. So it was probably about minus three or four this morning when I got up. Um, we haven't actually had snow. <coughs> Monmouth did. Caerphilly did. Uh, obviously, London did. Midlands did. Most of the country did, except for. Newport and our part of, the, of Wales, South Wales. 
didn't have any. Oh, we were all gutted. Well, I was, because I, I wanted to snow for Jennifer to, to enjoy. But, uh, yeah, no, we didn't have any, so not yet. That's not to mean we won't get any at some point. It'll be like nobody else will get it, and we'll have, like, four foot or something ridiculous, and people will be wondering why everything's shut. I mean, fortunately now, we work from home most of the week anyway, that if there was, that happened, other than Jennifer being off school, and the school's closed, I, I'd be able to work, because I'd be able to work from home. Oh gosh, that's nice. That is a lovely little gingerbread house over there. So I'm looking at the whole picture and, oh, excuse me, rather than just concentrating on the bit I'm doing, haven't really been watching anything. Um, the new series of Strike is on, on TV, which is obviously a JK Rowling production because it's her Robert Galbraith stories. I do enjoy those stories. All the problems with JK Rowling, I can still admire her work. I'm not sure I agree with a lot of else she uh, says, but I don't want to get into that on here because you know me, I am the most tolerant person in the world. <laughs> Um, and the most accepting so but I do enjoy the stories of Strike because they are very good and I like a good mystery and this is a good one we watched the first episode last night but Paul wouldn't watch the second episode for me so I went to bed instead I said I want to binge watch it he went no we'll watch it tomorrow all right then that's if we can get Jennifer to bed because she can be a bit funny going to bed without me she has the last two nights, so, so. oh, my head's hurting. Okay, time. It is 20 minutes past. A bit longer. Let's have a look. What colour kind of blue shall I use on her dress? Don't want too dark. Let's open up the polys. A nice sack. A nice, not a light, light one. I want a nice colour. So I want a dark, dark one because obviously I need that for the. Oops, <laughs> not doing very well here. Ah, right, okay, so I think I'll use this nice one. Let's see what these polys are like on here. This one is a poly uh, middle phthalo blue 152. Now I know that they are replacing a couple of the Prisma Color colors. One is the lavender. Zed, watch my can, please. Don't knock it over. Uh, because they can't get the pigment or something. One of the ingredients is no longer, so they're going to replace them. I mean, I, I've just got a new set and, and they, I've got all the colours in it, so I'm I'm quite happy. But uh, I know some people are unhappy because they're putting in an extra blend. They're putting in a blender and an extra white. I got to be honest. I very rarely use the white. I sometimes do use it to blend. I think the the poly's good and better. I think a harder pencil. Um, oil based seems to be a bit better. I can't believe we've done nearly half an hour and I've only done this tiles. This is the thing with doing pencils, it takes a lot longer than using markers. And I like using pencils, I love sitting here colouring with my pencils. So I'm happy to do this and chat away. I've just got to keep an eye on the time because of getting Jennifer in a bit. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sniffling away. It's not good. Um, so yeah, oh, I don't know what I'm for tea tonight, I haven't decided yet, because Jennifer always wants McDonald's, because she loves a McDonald's, oh, fair enough, she's a kid, kids love things like that, I, I don't mind, but it's the money in it, you just can't afford to buy things like that all the time. It's just far too expensive, as much as I wish we could. If I had unlimited funds, I'd be buying the Marilyn costumes that are coming up for sale at auction. I'd be approaching the owner of a house and offering him a lot of money for it. <laughs> I can say, yeah, I just want to buy it off you. So you can live your rent free, I just want to own it. You just have to pay all the bills. I was like, what, really? I said, yeah, but if anybody comes asking to use it for filming, the answer is no until I've approved the script. 
<laughs> not having that nonsense with um, blonde again, please. That was disgusting. She'd never been allowed. You're like, all right. <laughs> There, that's my opinion so if you don't know what the fuss is about the blonde you must have been living under a rock but do go and have a look at all the reviews because it's not a very nice film it's horrible and then what gets us Marilyn fans is that Andrew Dominic is complaining that fans and critic the critics of the film want Marilyn to be empowered but Marilyn was empowered she set up her own production company she stood up to the studio when she didn't have a dressing room um, she fought for director approval, script approval, um, she wanted approval of how her image was, she had photo approval, she wasn't the victim he portrayed. Yes, there were terrible things that happened in her life, but that film made out that her life was one terrible episode after another without any joy in it. And there was joy in it. It made no mention of her own company no mention of her friendship with Milton Green who helped her greatly all about the scandal and the lies and that was the problem with it why um, the community went off on one had it had a bit of that but had mixed in the truth of, of her successes and her thing. Yes, okay, you saw her on the screen doing the, the seven year scene and Diamonds, a girl's best friend. But none of the awards she won, nothing about her production company. They didn't show anything about her going to Korea and entertaining the troops. Nothing from her, the interview she gave when she returned saying that, uh, that she thought singing from the soldiers was the highlight of her life because of the feeling she got from all of those soldiers there was none of that good goodness it was all constant pain from the moment the film start to the moment it ends it's all pain and misery and you know what i can feel miserable enough without having to watch that i don't need some mis misogynistic incel making me feel even more miserable And I'd probably slap him in the face if he came near me. Actually, I'd kick him where the sun, you know, where it would really hurt. Or as Dave Lister in Red Dwarf would put it, one swift, swift knee in the happy sacks and he'll drop like anyone else. This is an 18 rated channel. Please keep your children away. But a lot of this I put onto TikTok as nicely as I can. It's been a hell of a horrible year for Marilyn this year. It really has been not a very good year. At the end of last year, you saw the, the publication of that terrible book, Bombshell, which, um, again, perpetuated the murder rubbish. This year we had the Kim Kardashian fi fiasco with the dress. We had the secret tapes of Marilyn Monroe, which is based on Anthony Summers' uh, now debunked and out-of-date biography. Somebody, I actually said that on... Uh, Facebook and someone well, could you please elaborate? I said yeah absolutely it's this this and this and if you want to know more I've got a whole series of videos on this documentary on my TikTok channel Marilyn and me if you, and they said yeah great I'll go and check that out whether or not they did I don't know if you're on TikTok go check it out if you want <coughs> but and then of course this nonsense with blonde hopefully next year will be a better year. I hope it will. I'm positive, feeling positive it's going to be a good year. We have had one good book release, uh, excellent book was released this year. I haven't got it yet, uh, but I will be getting soon. And that's April of Chambers's book, um, second edition of Marin Row Day in the Life, which chronicles her life by day. Um, if so, if we have a day where we know she was doing something, it's in there. You know, and this is taken from her own date books and known record this is not presumptive april would never put anything in there that she couldn't prove 100 percent, which is why i'm all for this uh, book i've got to go and get jennifer i'll be back hopefully in a little bit okay jennifer is back and she's sitting on the sofa watching a bit of ryan's world and eating a bowl of rice krispies because they're her favorite cereal at the moment last week it was freddy's um and my hands are freezing well my right hand's colder than my left but uh 
it's very cold out there, it's below freezing again, or very close to below freezing. <laughs> My car is actually in Fahrenheit at the moment, so it's it was 35 when I went out and it's dropped down to 34, only a degree, but that degree has made a difference. Um, and it is bitter. Um, funny enough, the car wasn't frosty this morning. Normally I would expect it to be. So I've got a nice hot cup of tea here as well as the Coke from earlier. And uh, Jennifer is quite happy now, just sitting on the sofa watching a bit of Ryan's World. I'm going to do a bit more of this. And, uh, and then I'm going to go and edit it together and sit with Jennifer on the sofa for a bit. I know we haven't done much, but it, it, like I said, it takes longer with pencils. That's why sometimes I like to do a picture in a video and do it all in one go. And that's why I do the markers a lot, because they're easier to do, they're quicker and and so on. But yes. Oh, I love this blue, it's gorgeous. Again, I'm very sniffly. It's so cold. Oh, now he's moved on to T-Rex Ranch. Oh, Dino Man. Oh. He calls him something like that anyway. So. Lovely. So, yeah, I like this colour, blue, for the skirt. It's very nice. I'm going to do a very light blue on that on there but not the lightest. I think the lightest in here isn't that light. So I might use the light, the Prisma kind of for uh, just going around the snow and uh, I guess if there's a grey blue I'll have a look. I can't remember. The one thing I do like about uh, Polychromos is that Hobbycraft sell them open stock. On. So I, what I tend to do is make a list of the ones that I'm getting short on, make a trip to Hobbycraft <laughs> and pick up the ones I need. And then if I need anything else, I'll, or I want anything else, if I've got money, I'll, I'll pick up, say, some a couple of Windsor and Newtons. I've got a, I'm gonna make a list of those that I haven't got, a complete list. And then I can just cross them out when I get them. And uh, have another you. Each time I go in, they're £2.50 a piece, so they're not cheap markers, but they, they, they're lovely. I mean, there's lots of stuff I'd love that I can't afford, but I'm quite happy. I've got another one that I'm going to finish off after this, uh, which is a page from Relax With Art issue 100. It's almost finished, I'm just doing the background. And it's just a picture of some baubles, and I'm really enjoying colouring it. Um, I just want to finish it off so it's done. Oh, I'll tell you my nose. Very, very cold. I think I'll leave that for now and do it later off camera. I will do a bit something else. So, um, I wanted, I'll use this light one here for the baubles, I think. I'll do the, I'll do the bell and then that'll be it for tonight. And this is another battery that's gone. It's ridiculous. It's because I charged them before I need them. I think I better charge them when I do need them. Let me change this one out. Silly things playing up now. You can hear Jennifer scraping her things. That's fine. So I'm just going to do this light blue for these baubles. Or pom poms, I guess they are really. I'll do the rest of this to go off camera because it is going to take a long time. I'll, I'll do this bit, this colour as well. When I get to, we're not going to do that right now. I just want to do the bell. And what I do is I tend to put them, when I put them back into the pencil case, I turn them round. So that they're facing the other way. And it is fine that way. I'm just sharpen up this next pencil, which is green gold. I love this colour. Let's have a sip of tea. 
I'm warming up now. Now I'm just going to turn this again so you can see it. So, so I'm do the better. Zoom it in. Lovely. Let's take her down a bit. Oh, here we go. Sorry. The camera off. I haven't. Oh, there's the cat. Come to the window again. That's fine. Just push it that way. Sorry. Oh, what's going on here? That's it. Sorry about that, guys. This is one that's going to have to go on the list because it's getting a bit short. You alright, Zed? Yes, dear. You want more Rice Krispies? Alright, I'll be right there. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, that's her set up. She's got more Rice Krispies. She's happy. So I'm just doing my bell. So I'm just going to do the inside. Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna start a list of polys that I need, I think, and make sure next time I'm at Hobby Craft, I'll take it with me along with my Windsor and Newton list, and I will. Get some more open stock, including this one because I like, I do love this colour. I find it very good for doing bells and um, things like that. In that way, so I know which one it is. I know which one's going to be. And then I want a, a yellow one. And just put that over the top. It makes it a nice colour. Okay, there as well. So we haven't coloured much of our picture yet, but Paul is in the office again on Thursday, so. Tuesday today, so I will film another one on Thursday, and we will carry on with this gorgeous picture. I do like it. Um, then, and uh, see what we think of it. Try and get, we'll see what we can get done. So I'm just putting a little bit more of this on here. colour do you think I should do the bow on here? Let me know. Don't forget this is going to be very dark blue on the background, on the sky. Um, but maybe green. I, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards green. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope that you've been enjoying this video. There we go. Put that in there. We'll do something similar with the star, but it'll be different shades of yellow on it, that's all. There we go, let's put a bit more in there, there we are. So we haven't done a lot, as you see I've got my green ticket in it so I know what page I'm on. But we've done a fair bit of her and her dress. And in the next one we will do the bow and the star and I don't know, maybe the candy cane or the cake, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this colour and chat, it's been nice catching up with you. And I'll uh, talk to you again hopefully on Thursday. Hi everybody.